welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do a fun video today. I wanted to show you what I did this weekend. So this weekend I went to LA with a few of my best friends and we went to IMATS. IMATS is, is like short for International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And there's tons of brands that are vendors there. And all the makeup, for the most part, like majority of them are like heavily discounted. And it was freaking crazy. And on top of like not only their vendors there, but there's also like classes going on, like just presentations, like guest speakers, and there's also like competitions. I th I think for like graphic effects makeup, special <laughs> graphic effects, special effects makeup, and uh, it's just super cool to see everyone do like their thing. I spent so much money. But it was all so worth it. Like, look at this big bag I got. Not all of it's from MAC, but there's a crap ton in there. You can't even see. So, I wanted to do a makeup haul for you guys. Because I loved everything that I got. And I just think it'd be fun to do something different on my channel other than just like tutorials. So, let's go ahead and start. So, inside my MAC bag, I got a ton of stuff from Morphe and because I spent over a hundred dollars there they gave me this free tote so I was like cool I'll take it and here is what I got I already played with this and this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I did my friend's makeup I'm kind of underwhelmed I was kind of like eh, I don't need any of those and then like the more I've seen looks created with it and the more I just see tutorials too like I'm like all right that's pretty versatile I guess I guess I'll like, like, anyways, and I think it actually will be pretty good for clients, and I can just stick to, like, one palette instead of having 10 billion different palettes. And then, of course, I got a brush holder, which I'm super excited for, because I've been t taking mugs for my clients, and I'm like, this will be way better than freaking mugs. So, I also got makeup wipes. I got setting spray, and then I got a few brushes for my kit. I got some brow gel for my kit, and of course, you can't leave there without getting some like their sponges. So then I got my trusty Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. We used some of it um, earlier, like while we we're at the hotel, because I did my friend's makeup. I got some Ardell lashes. They had a deal for a 6 for 20 and I'm like really low on like my nice lashes so I got some and that's what I'm wearing right now. I went to MAC. I got some things I stocked up on so I got strobe cream. This is not MAC. Hold on. <laughs> Getting out of myself. I got Fix Plus. I got the Painterly Pot. And I also got Natural Radiance Primer. I swear by this primer for my clients. So one of my like favorite finds at MAC was these two um, Hyper Real Glow palettes. So I found out that this peach one actually isn't released until February. And I got it. Like, I'm so excited to have these in my makeup kit now. Because I was struggling to find like a good highlight, like highlighters to have on hand. And that gold one and this peachy one, perfect. Look how pretty these are. I love these. And I'm actually a huge fan of their highlighters. I personally use their highlighters. Um, my favorite is Soft and Gentle. Seriously, amazing stuff. So, if you're looking for some good highlighters, go check out MAC. Or if you like want a good trio, this, this will be your friend. And then, of course, I also got another RCMA powder. This lasts me forever. So I got one of these. Just one. And then, okay, so I've heard about the brand Rude Cosmetics from Tati Westbrook. And she's like a fan of their products, but not a fan of like their stance on like their packaging and just the brand in general, I guess. Like, <laughs> likes their products that doesn't like them. You, you know, like, you can you can have that type of relationship with the, with the brand. So I grabbed one of their uh, mascaras. This is the Obnoxious Volume Mascara. And I grabbed it because it was only like 
four or five bucks and I was like that's super cheap for some mascara so I grabbed it and I actually really like this mascara I tried it on this morning before I like put on my lashes and I was like dang this looks good like as is it's pretty nice I got two more brand things to show you that I'm like super excited about so guess who was there hourglass hourglass was there and they have promotion for two of their liquid or not they had a promotion for two of their lipsticks for twenty dollars and I was like because they're like thirty bucks to begin with I was like two for twenty okay and then they said if you buy any of our products like anything they'll give you a free primer and I was like okay sold so I got two lipsticks and one of their primers for $21 and I was stoked like that's really good like so anyways I got their ambient light correcting primer and then two um, lipsticks one in the shade peacemaker and one in inventor and I am currently wearing peacemaker when I first read it I thought it said peach maker and I was like oh okay I'm not kidding. I even when I was when I was talking to the lady, I was like, um, "Can I have Peach Maker?" And I could tell that she was kind of like, "What are you talking about?" But I was like, "No, it's called Peach Maker." Like, I know I read it, and I know in the back of her mind she was kind of like, "This girl's an idiot." It's called Peace Maker. Trust me, I work here. Okay, so the next thing I want to like show you guys is from Ofra Cosmetics and I kid you not this made my whole entire experience so we were shopping at Morphe and my arms were dead I was dead we had been driving forever I had been up for over 24 hours at that point I think I'd been up for like uh, like 32 okay we just got done shopping at Morphe. I went to the bathroom and they were holding my stuff. And then when I got out, I like went and found them and there's a bunch of seating and they're like, hey, we're just gonna watch this presentation real quick. We just wanna sit down for a little bit. And I was like, okay, that sounds good. Who is it? And I'm like, oh, it's all Ofra Cosmetics. And I was like, okay, sweet. You know, like, I like Ofra. Never tried any of their products before, but I'll, I'll sit down and watch them. And it turns out it was the legendary Francesca Tolot doing her, like, doing the presentation. And I was kind of like, dude, this is sick. Like, this is amazing. So I'll put some, <laughs> I'll insert some clips in, like, in here. But it was amazing. She did, she did, so she was, like, showing how she uses her product, like, the palette that she made and did a few different looks on this model and the model is beautiful to begin with and it went from like simple cute look to here let me show you a little bit more of a bolder look and then it went from little bold look to bam it's bold and it was still like so pretty like I couldn't believe it she even like just watching her use her brushes was insane like she is truly an artist so if you guys don't know who Francesca Tola is she is pretty much Beyonce's um, makeup artist and she's done Cher's makeup she's done Madonna's makeup she's done Carrie Underwood's makeup like she's kind of a big deal in the makeup artist community so anyways this is what she like she came out with three like separate products with Ofra like that she collaborated on she did this and then she did a um like look at how pretty this packaging is so she did this I'll show you what it is in just a second and then she did three liquid lipsticks and then she did an eyeshadow palette so when you open it up this is the packaging I'm like oh, that's really pretty to begin with and then she signed it like okay so she had her book and she was doing the signing and she helped me like she
she just like talked she talked to me and my friends and it was so awesome to talk to her because she is such a sweet lady she's so appreciative and thankful that we were there and then she was we were like taking pictures with her and then my friend was kind of like oh like can you like show me how to use this palette and so she was like showed her how to like pretty much use it on her like on my friend she literally like blended it out with her own finger and I was kind of like she touched you like you can't wash your face she touched you and <laughs> I was kind of like hey Francesca like how do you use this palette because like this is pretty dark and I am tan but not like this tan and she's like oh no it's so blendable and so she what she did she like she said that this is for um winter this is for some that this is for summer and she swatched this one and she was like and it's so blend like look at how soft it is and then you can just kind of like blend it out it's just so blendable and it's really really pretty and so like she swatched it and then she was like telling me like how you can build it up how soft it is and she's like I am really fair and look at I'm like wearing it now I like really natural makeup for herself like she looked beautiful and I was like all right I'm sold so I went and got it and she signed it she put a heart on it I don't know if anyone else got a heart but I got a heart and I'm freaking in love she used this on her uh, model too and these two blushes combined are beautiful you can't really tell now because like I've been wearing my makeup since like 8 in the morning and it's 12 hours I guess but yeah not too bad for 12 hours huh my makeup not too shabby and on top of that when you bought anything of her like her collection she gave you a little trial size of the lipstick that she made Beyonce like I got Beyonce's lipstick here look at how pretty it is it is definitely bold but that's pretty stuff so anyways now I pretty much am connected to Beyonce I got last thing from Ofra Cosmetics and pretty much the last thing I got from this whole entire trip. I got Ofra's um, oil free moisturizer because I'm about to run out of moisturizer. So, it was like, good timing. <laughs> so anyways, this was such a fun experience for me. I am going to do, like, share some clips and videos and just kind of like hope you, I can share my experience with you. It was an of a lifetime. It happens only once a year, so I, as much as I feel bad about like how much I spent, I also am kind of like, you know what? It's all for my clients, to, like too, and some of it's for me, some of it's for my clients, and it's only once a year. And I promised myself I'm never going to buy something the rest of this year because I bought a crap ton of stuff. And watch me in like a month or so buy more stuff. The only thing I promised myself that I would buy is foundation and concealer. And by the way, I am wearing um, Morphe's foundation. They gave us a few samples. Let me see if I have. They have, like, they gave us this. And it looks really good on my friends. And I mean, it looks fine on me, but I had put on strobe cream and I had put on the ambient uh, primer and it still was super matte and I was kind of bummed because I wanted a real like a soft like satin look at least that's what I was kind of going for I wanted dewy but I realized that this was matte foundation when I was trying it and I was like oh shoot it was just not working it was started like to separate that's the word it started to separate all right here but on my friends totally fine so I don't know what's going on but now I kind of like it I think I'd give it another try even though I used my foundation like shade I think I will try another few shades just because my skin color can kind of go everywhere sometimes it's super light sometimes a lot darker just kind of depends but anyways I hope you guys liked this video it was super fun showing like sharing my experience with you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next video talk to you guys later bye